What's up guys, Knight here. Today I have a video about Mind Your Decisions and he's basically talking about uh, geniuses and intelligence people, or intelligent people rather. So I got offended when I watched this video so I made a video response and basically I wrote down a script which I'm going to read as per usual for the most part. I, I, stay, I say it when I do it so. Uh, anyways, um, so yeah, there's the information. Uh, go ahead and watch that video, and once you've watched it, come back and then watch this video. Uh, so go ahead and do that. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to assume you did and watched it and blah, blah, blah. So let's get on with this, alright? So at 106, uh, you made your own version of this test for people, and you didn't even realize that you broke the rules and failed because of that. So because of that, I hate to say it, but you are not a genius. Okay, now I'll explain that. Just give me a moment. That said, at 133, basically, just like the original creator, you just randomly created an idea and decided that if someone also figures this out by also having that random thought, they are a genius. And to me, that is stupid. That is like saying, if you won the lotto and someone else wins the lotto, they are both a genius because they both won the lotto. Genius is about intelligence, not random chance. I have no idea where you got the idea that it makes you intelligent to be lucky. And on top of that, you're breaking the founding rules like most of the brats that play League of Legends, and they lose in that game all the time because of it. Just like you lost at your own game. At 258 is where the proof exists about what I'm saying. Most of your numbers that you wrote down do not fit the question mark plus question mark question mark component you created. You have no idea what is actually going on, so you screwed up and ruined it. Basically, you made it unsolvable because you screwed it up. Why would you have question mark plus question mark if the first question mark can be two numbers, or even be a negative number? What is the point of having a different amount of question marks at all if that happens? Like, how in your mind does the first question mark and question mark plus question mark question mark represent 7.5? That makes zero sense. And again, writing it as question mark plus question mark question mark, it gives a person reading it that doesn't have the information that you have the impression that that first question mark is a single digit number, yet it's 7.5. See, I'm intelligent, so I'm, I'm seeing it that way, and any smart person that doesn't have your mind, knowing what you know, would see it that way too. An intelligent person would have written the problem as question mark, point, question mark, plus question mark, question mark, if the answer involved 7.5. That way, the person knows it's a decimal number that needs two numbers. But writing it as question mark, question mark means it's 21, 25, 67, 42, and the one question mark is 1, 5, 7, 2. <laughs> so, yeah, an intelligent person would write it that way, but you didn't. And because of that, it is misleading and not intelligent, basically. And I say that with most, if not all, of the videos that I see where you bring up questions, basically. So a question for me to you is, how can you expect anyone to end at the goal if you give them a map that, ha that was randomly created to point any direction? Like, literally, it's just a randomly generated map, right? And you're like, okay, now get to my house. And this map literally goes every which direction and it points to like Dairy Queen or something. How am I supposed to get to your house using that map? And that's basically what you drew out here. Basically, is, that's what my whole argument is about. Then on top of that, you have another situation where it has a negative sign, which again, isn't shown in the question mark as it should be. What again, if you're smart, what you would have written it as is negative question mark plus question mark question mark because again the difference in question marks it gives you a reason to think there's something you know about them but you wrote them like that and there's no use at all it's misleading and again you didn't do it that way because you have no idea what you were even doing as stated before so that proves my point that this is kind of foolish and you have no idea what you're even talking about Again, as I said to my viewers, this is why I hate math, because it makes you oblivious to the real world and real mechanics and actual intelligence. Just because you and someone else are equally brainwashed so that you both speak in some made-up language called bullshit, that doesn't mean you are smarter than anyone. It just means you know bullshit more than someone else. Like, 
a person that knows Egyptian doesn't mean they're smarter than me. It just means they speak Egyptian and I don't. You know what I mean? It's the same thing for math. Just because you speak math and I don't doesn't mean I'm stupid. And you think that it does. And what's funny is you're not even speaking it right on top of all that. So personally, because of this kind of crap, that's why I have no interest in learning math. And literally, that's, that's why I hate math is because of stupid crap like that. So in closing... I'm really sorry to call you out like I did and have to say all this stuff, but you got to stop trying to trick yourself into thinking that you're intelligent or a genius for that matter. Because the fact is, you aren't. As an intelligent man, myself, this questions no intelligence of anyone at all and does not allow one to actually acquire the answer because it is misleading and lacks logic. There's no way to figure it out at all. There's no way to actually understand it because you're misleading people. As I stated before, this whole situation is a dumb luck situation. And as you stated, people like to cheat and pretend that they got it. And what's funny is you did that very thing. I'm sure that many do, but I caught you and your video and you're boasting about it, basically. Uh, so I'm basically calling you out, I guess. So I guess this makes it a calling you out video and I do those. You can check those out if you want. But anyways, I have no disrespect for you, but you're just screwing up my field of expertise and I can't have you doing that, basically. And it's basically about genius and intelligence. I'm not saying I'm, ingeni or I'm, not saying I'm genius, I'm not saying I'm intelligent, but that's where I like to reside and I like to hang out with people like that, basically. So my advice is to maybe get into movies or something because you can screw up there and it's completely fine. Or you can even stay in math where you can leave being a genius to actual thinkers because math has nothing to do with being intelligent or genius. Math is literally just understanding the language. There's no intelligence involved at all. If you can learn Spanish, you're a genius according to you. And even if you are doing it wrong, like you did, apparently you're still a genius. And again, that's according to you. But uh, yeah, anyways, that's it. So peace, have a good one, take it real, keep it easy, and check out my videos. Um, I call people out, I do League of Legends, and you, you name it. So anyways, yeah, take it real, keep it easy, have a good one, peace, cheers.